Genius is developed through the sixth sense. The reality of a sixth sense has been fairly well established. This sixth sense is creative imagination. Those who use this faculty voluntarily and with understandings of its functions are geniuses. Okay, so we know that we have five senses, right? Hear, see, smell, taste, and touch, but we also have a sixth sense. Only geniuses know how to wisely use this to their advantage. Hello, beautiful people. If you are new to my channel, my name is Tanya, and in this video, I want to share with you a little bit about sexual energy, sexual transmutation, and how you can use your sexual energy to manifest whatever you desire and bring that into physical form. So, first of all, if you are not already aware, your sexual energy is your life force. It is your strongest form of energy, right? We are created through sex. Sex can create a human being. It is your strongest form of energy. Your sexual energy is the same thing as your creative energy. So if you're taking your sexual energy and you're using that to create something that is so powerful. And so if you have ever read this book, Think and Grow Rich, you are aware that it's called Think and Grow Rich because the secret to riches is think your thoughts, your thoughts become your reality. So one of the one of the chapters is focused on sexual transmutation and how the one of the the tenth secret to riches is mastering your sexual energy and so i'll read off a page really quickly but it says the men of greatest achievement are those with highly developed sex natures men who have learned the art of sex transmutation the men who have accumulated great fortunes and achieved outstanding recognition in literature art industry architecture and the professions were motivated by the influence of women when driven by this emotion, men become gifted with a superpower for action. Understand this truth and you will catch the significance of the statement that sex transmutation will lift one to the status of a genius. So basically that chapter dives deep into the fact that all these wealthy people in history like Dale Carnegie or whatever and all these wealthy people knew the secret which was using their sexual energy to create wealth like physical money and so we all have sexual energy um so every person has these seven major chakra centers of energy through our spinal cord and one of them is our sacral chakra and Sexual transmutation is when you take this energy from your lower chakra, your sacral chakra, and you transmute it back into your crown chakra, and you're doing this like reverse thing instead of leaking your energy everywhere, right? Instead of ejaculating or coming, you're using, you're not letting that shit go. You're transmuting it back up into your crown chakra, right? And what that's doing is that it's giving you more energy to create. And that is so beautiful. So I personally have been celibate now for almost seven months. And I have been doing this, taking my sexual energy and putting it to work, right? Creative projects, um, putting that energy into my business, manifesting more money that I desire. Like, this shit works. I'm not saying don't have sex with people, but keep in mind that your sexual energy is your power, 
your most powerful form of energy. So whenever you are having sex with another individual, you are literally exchanging energies with another person. So if this person is at a low frequency and you're vibing high, they're literally taking that energy. It's not a balance of energies. Like someone can literally suck your energy by having sex with you. And so you need to protect your energy. And I mean, you, you can still have sex and use um, this technique of sexual transmutation, you know, instead of leaking that shit everywhere, you, you just don't. And you practice transmuting that energy back into your crown chakra and holding something that you want to manifest the emotion of sex contains the secret of creative ability. Destroy the sex glands, whether in man or beast, and you have removed the major source of action. <laughs> There's really not much to it other than to educate yourself on the fact that your sexual energy is so powerful so so powerful and if you don't believe that it is um you're just not educated on it because just think about the fact that we can create another human being from that energy imagine what else you can create if you know how to control it so if this is so powerful if it is such a powerful technique to manifest whatever you desire and every human has the ability to do this why isn't everybody doing it well because our sexual energy learning to control that takes a lot of willpower a lot i mean just try try going celibate for a while and you will learn that for yourself it's definitely hard sex is an emotion and so if you learn how to control that you know that is why you have to have a burning desire a burning fucking desire for whatever it is that you're going after in life if you really want to achieve your like your dreams you have to be able to master your sexual energy if you cannot master your sexual energy you do not have control of your life at all understand that if you cannot control your sexual energy and who you're sharing your sacred energy with you have absolute no control of your life why do you think pornography is a freaking multi-billion fucking industry um even though this shit is free because um it's accessible to everybody why do you think it's free because they want to keep us asleep because imagine if everybody woke up to to this awareness that oh my gosh i hold all the power to create everything that i want yeah imagine that that's why porn is free dude porn is so bad <laughs> it's like a different topic almost it's like a whole other video but like if if you basically what i'm trying to say is that if you cannot control your sexual energy you have no control of your life like at all so if you have a burning desi desire to manifest these huge wild dreams in your life you really need to learn how to master that sacred energy of yours so yeah if you can learn how to master your sexual energy because it is your sacred energy it is your life force you can create anything that you desire in this life it is immensely powerful i feel like there's nothing much to it other than to acknowledge the fact that whoever you are having sex with you are exchanging energies with so if this person is hanging out in this really low vibration, you're gonna catch that low vibration. Like there's nothing around that. And so, yeah, protect your energy. And 
sexual transmutation is basically you're holding that life force and you're transmuting it back and forth, back and forth, and you're holding this manifestation in your mind and watch the magic that you create in your life, all right? I'm telling you. I hope this video was helpful for you in any way. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below or feel free to send me a message and connect with me. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe.